Hello everyone, welcome to the Q Skills for Success Special Edition Online Learning Management System Tutorial by the eLearning Unit. First, you must open a web browser and enter the following website link iqse.ouponlinepractice.com you'll get the following page first you must register if you have it done so with Oxford University Press it will require your name email address and so on once you have registered enter your email address and then enter your password and click login Once you have logged in, you will get the following teacher site screen. You have the following options. Home, you can edit your profile, log out, or click on help, where you will find a web page tutorial in English as well as Arabic um, with step-by-step -step process. Right. First and foremost, you need to click on manage classes. Um, this is where you can manage the classes with your class ID, university ID, and so on. Uh, this option where you're able to re uh, view student progress reports at a class level, at a student level, as well as a activity or segment report level. Here are the activities and resources, um, as well as the writing tutor. And you can contact your students through the system through email and the discussion boards. We will go through each one of these items um, shortly. But first, you must click on Manage Classes. And you will get the following screen. Okay. Now, you need to add a new class. So you just click on the following option here below. It will ask you to select a book for your new class. All right, level one, either reading and writing and listening and speaking. Note, you will have to create two classes, for one for each book. All right, it will ask you to join an institution by entering the institution ID code. Okay, and the institution ID code will be provided to you by the e-learning unit each campus has a specific code once you've entered the code click next enter the class name um, you'll there will be a specific naming uh, you will type in the campus code for example aa abir ali and the section number and then if you are teaching reading and writing, then you click, do we type in RW or LS for listening and speaking? And then click next. And then you will be, then you will get the following screen. You must save the class ID code, write it down, print it out, but you must provide this to your students in order for them to access your class and click done you will find the following class and the information here remember as we stated uh, before in the e-learning uh, email that <clears throat> that all teachers must uh, provide the students with their class code so in order to do that you can also click on class details and you'll see the class ID code here as well as the institution ID code you will find the following students over here and their email addresses okay. they will automatically be populated into the classroom as soon as you provide them with the class ID code okay. go ahead and click back now each week teachers are required to hide or assign the content um, so if you finish teaching unit one, you would open up the unit one assignments and the unit one tests as shown here. 
click change now the default settings all practice and tests are hidden as you can see some of them are hidden to unhide all you have to do is uncheck the box so in the beginning you would want to make sure all activities are hidden once you have finished teaching each unit just open up the activity to to show it and scroll down so the top part is the practice and the second part below is the unit test students are required to complete um, each unit test that's where they will be graded and that's where their um, their assessment scores will be assessed um, as far as practice they are encouraged but they will not be graded and note the student the, t the system will correct the test all you have to do is look at the student reports all right just click on save click OK and click back to go back to the manage classes page in addition to the writing assignments at the end of each unit you want to do the same thing you want to hide all the activities except for the units that you are teaching or you have completed and so on right again red are hidden unchecked means they're assigned okay click save and click back now also here where it says manage attempts you want to make sure you select the option where uh, records only the last attempt for each activity this only applies to the practice not the test right click save and click OK and click back um, if you want to delete a course or a class all you have to do is click on this uh, bin icon and it will delete the class all right to order to add another class just click on add a new class and go through the same process okay. click back to return to the main page for the teacher site 